In this problem, we're looking at rolling dice. It says an ordinary fair die is a cube with the numbers 1 through 6 on the sides represented by painted spots. I'm guessing you already knew that. And then it says, imagine that such a die is rolled twice in succession and that the face values of the two rolls are added together. This sum is recorded as the outcome of a single trial of a random experiment and then compute the probability of these events. Event A, the sum is greater than 6. Event B, the sum is divisible by 4 and round to two decimal places. So how do we go about this? When you roll a single die, there are six possible outcomes, uh, one, two, three, four, five, or six. Uh, in this case, we're rolling a die twice in succession, which is really the same thing as rolling two dice. And when you roll two dice, there are six times six, or 36 possible outcomes. And I, I think the best way to approach a problem like this is to look at every one of those and to, to make up a quick chart. I've typed up a chart here of all the possible outcomes of rolling two dice. So you can get a pair of ones, you can get a pair of sixes, you can get a three and a five, etc. So these are all the possible outcomes. If we want to find the probability that the sum of the two is greater than six, we can just count the number of these boxes where the sum is greater than six. And let's see here, um, six and one, so all of these and then 5 and 2 is 7, so all of those, uh, all of those, all of those, all of those, and that one. So all of these, the sum is greater than 6, so we've got 6 plus 5 is 11, plus 4 is 15, plus 3 is 18, plus 2 is 20. So 21 different events here has the sum being greater than 6. So we just need to take 21 divided by 36, which is the total number of events here, and we'll have our answer. So 21 divided by 36, and that's going to be, well, to two decimal places, that's going to be 0.58. Likewise, if we're trying to find where the sum is divisible by 4, now let's think about that for a minute. The numbers are that you can get are between 2 and 12. The only numbers in there that are divisible by 4 are 4, and 8 and 12. So let's look where 4 is. Uh, you can get a 4 by rolling a 3 and a 1 or a 2 and a 2. So that's those. Uh, an 8 would be a 6 and a 2, a 5 and a 3, a 4 and a 4. So that's those. And a 12, there's only one way to get that. That's that one. So if we count these up, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is 9 out of 36, which is 0.25. So that's a little bit of work with the probabilities of die rolling.